My name is Amina Sharif Salim from Coast Girls High School and my project is about adding value to indigenous vegetables for nutritional security. What do we mean by adding value? Adding value we mean to prolong its shelf life, to restore its real value. And uh, indigenous vegetables are those vegetables which originate from the sub-Saharan Africa. Okay. Oh, shit. So, my, uh, the indigenous vegetables we have is like mchunga, terere, amaranthas, that is the, the mchicha. So these vegetables, as we all know, during the colonialism, they, they introduced their exotic, their exotic vegetables, that is cabbage, lettuce, sunflower, tomato, carrots, and our own African indigenous vegetables, which were consumed by the Africans, were disgraded and it spread a negative notion that these vegetables are poor people food and weight. So our head start of our project was when we were learning agriculture book two and uh, under types of uh, vegetables it just stated the exotic ones but when we see in book three in book three agriculture under the type of weeds they stated they stated uh, the indigenous vegetable that's when those I said about mchicha, terere, mchunga, and the, and the rest, chichmalow, spider plants. So the definition clearly stated that weeds are unwanted, are unwanted plants. So we were wondering, these things are taken by people, then how can, be, how can they be unwanted? And in fact, they have more nutrition, nutrition value than the exotic vegetable. So we said, okay, fine. We had a, first we had to solve the problem of perishability because these vegetables take around three days to, de to decompose. So uh, we wanted to find a way that we can use to make them stay for long. We borrowed from the home science co content. First we dissect the vegetable, wash them, we put in a wire basket and immerse them in hot water for two to three minutes to kill microorganisms. And uh, then we put in cold water to two to three minutes to stop the cooking process. And this and this concept was about blanching, which uh, denatured enzymes, kill micro, microorganisms, uh, restored the color of the of the vegetables. Because if we had used the method of sun drying as Smith and Ezegua 2007 stated that this method was not the best, because the vegetables were not protected against sun, uh, winds, Broadest domestic animals, which lead to the formation of mycotoxins and microorganisms, which will cause soil contamination. So fine, we solved the problem of perishability, but still people have the negative notion that these things are poor people. And uh, when you go around the market, when you go around the market, these things are not even sold in high quantity. As you see, people prefer indigenous vegetables more than this. Uh, I mean, people, sorry. Uh, prefer these exotic vegetables more than the indigenous vegetables. So we had uh, we, we conducted the survey with the uh, market women, and uh, they said that during the their peak period, they overproduced and uh, many go to waste. Like over sixty percent goes to waste, only forty percent is sold. So uh, they ha they say they even say that uh, provided people are not going to buy them, they had to sell at a throwaway price so that people can consume them. But still, okay, fine, we had solved the problem of perishability. So how can we make people consume them? Still, people won't consume them. So we wanted to come up with something that we can use to incorporate to make this thing uh, attractive to people and they can consume. So depending on our locality, Mombasa, we took an interview uh, near in our school and uh, the neighborhood that which snack is mostly preferred they said about peas uh, ground nuts and simsim but above all simsim was liked a lot so we prefer to use white simsim you can also use brown simsim we washed it and dried and dried it so that uh, water can be extracted after that we roasted the simsim then we made a thick syrup of uh, lemon no sorry sugar water lemon and we added this spices like you can see cinnamon known as dalasini iliki which is cardamom and we added also lemon and, uh, and a generous pinch of salt after that we made a thin consistency and then we added the we, we added the we added the simsim which was roasted and these indigenous vegetables after they had dried we crushed them into fine powder we add them in the simsim which we just added in a, in not that much quantity than simsim so after that when it was warm enough we made into desired shape you can make to any shape you want 
So after that, we, we try to consider the nutritive value. Same, same, aloe contains healthy fats and oil. That's why when most people have nutritious pro problems, they prefer to take Sim Sim oil. And imagine the vegetable is a boost because uh, it contains minerals, fibers, iron, and it can make you, it can prevent you from iron deficiency diseases and uh, vitamin A deficiency diseases. So then we made people, uh, the few samples we collected, we made a few people from the school to taste them. So in fact, they liked it. So, as you see this nowadays, the gap between the rural people and the urban people is the food they take. So in rural areas, some, some, some take these foods. And uh, urban areas, you can see people take snacks and healthy foods, like junk food. That's why we can see now diseases which people are suffering from, like the children, who are not suffered before. Like we can see now children are having diabetes, they are having ulcer, they are, they are suffering from obesity just because of the unhealthy food they prefer, which has chemical additives. So we decided why can't we share these snacks after they, they have been made. This was the final product. Why can't we share them in the supermarket so anyone, as people think, they have the attitude that if you buy something from the supermarket, you are of high value. So why can't we share them in the supermarket and people can consume them? Imagine just a bite will become nut nutritious to one's body. So when people consume them in a high, higher quantity, they will be of... Uh, I mean, uh, they will go for higher level. And also, these vegetables, they grow on their own. Like, they grow on their own. That's why I think people call them with. And imagine if we start planting them. We can also, it, it's not a must to incorporate, it, but we can see the problem facing these things, like transporting vegetables and flowers is perishability. Now we, we have solved the perishability problem and they can stay for 10 months without decomposing. So we can even transport to other countries. Like say, there are some Africans living in, uh, in, uh, I mean, they are living outside Kenya, so they want to test. They want to test our African food. We can transport them, and people can access them worldwide. It can also boost our economic growth in in our country. Thank you. <coughs> We're also looking for the sponsors. Whoever is ready to sponsor this project, can uh, comment below or send your contact so that we can commercialize and help Kenya achieve the food security at is uh, agenda four this this about the food security which we the food security which the country is pursuing that is preserving food and then adding value to it then giving a boost to the local people as they are producing uh, so it's also about food security and also encouraging and boosting the local people to have value of what they produce also changing the notion